let us now look at the questions of your asphyxia chapter what all mcqs come like in your exams first question the question is the knot in judicial hanging is placed at uh, simple question presence of knot over midline occipital region the hanging is called as typical hanging not anywhere else other than midline occipital the hanging is hanging is classified as atypical hanging this is classification of hanging based on types of knot and third type of hanging based on knot is your judicial hanging judicial hanging in judicial hanging the knot is placed at correct answer is left angle of mandible okay next question question says during post mortem you find emphysematous bullae on lungs key point in the question is this finding finding is over which organ lungs what is the finding air filled cavities air filled areas called as emphysematous bullae emphysematous means air filled bullae are present over lung which statement is true for this finding okay always remember this is a important finding of strangulation deaths and this is not seen in all cases of strangulation so your correct answer will be option c because it is seen in 50% it is not seen in almost every case it is seen in some of the cases so what is the percentage it is seen in 50% cases of strangulation this is a question of all india in case of hanging on post mortem the intimal layer of internal carotid artery shows transverse tears so for looking over the tears of intimal layer we need to take out this internal carotid out from the body suppose your carotids have been taken out from the body and then i will take a scissor and cut along the wall of the artery to open the lumen like this to open the lumen like this and if i get cuts of intimal layer transverse tears of intimal layer and the cause of death in the person is hanging this is called as amusat sign this is called as amusat sign in case of hanging on post mortem the intimal layer of internal carotid artery shows transverse tears called as amusat sign what is battle sign option a battle sign is bruising of mastoid bruising of mastoid due to fracture of temporal bones that is your middle cranial fossa so fracture of middle cranial fossa leads to bruising over mastoid and this is called as battle sign this is a type of ectopic bruising ectopic bruising what is simon's hemorrhage simon's hemorrhage is extravasation of blood over anterior longitudinal ligament of lumbar vertebra extravasation of blood over anterior longitudinal ligament of lumbar vertebra seen in prolonged hanging cases like the person has been hanged for like 24 to 36 hours you can get simon's hemorrhages what are simon's hemorrhages hemorrhages over anterior longitudinal ligament of lumbar vertebra prolonged hanging cases next question prinsloo and gordon artifact refers to this was your question of all india again what is open last in asphyxial deaths neck is always open last which is the first cavity to be opened head head is the first cavity to be opened in any asphyxial death because we want to drain the body of blood so your circle of villus will be dissected out and the brain will be taken out all your organs visceral organs they will be dissected out and finally we will open your neck in any asphyxial death what what do we want to look into your neck region we we'll want to look for anti mortem bruising of anti mortem bruising of blood vessels of your neck muscles and soft tissues so we want to look for anti mortem bruising so we don't want to create we don't want to create a blood filled area if you don't remove your uh, brain first what will happen is 
all the blood from your circle of villus area will come into your neck region and this seepage of blood from your cranial cavity to your neck region will give a rise to a post mortem artifact so the question is about that post mortem artifact that is called prince lewin gordon artifact so even if you don't know exactly what prince lewin gordon artifact is what is important is you should if you know this thing prince lewin gordon artifact is related to asphyxial death and obviously for asphyxial death we have to look for extravasation of blood over neck region so you can mark your correct answer cervical vertebra even if you don't know anything about prince lewin gordon artifact you can solve your question because prince lewin gordon artifact is related to asphyxial deaths okay to prevent this artifact we open neck last head first and what is this prince lewin gordon artifact if you don't remove your head if you don't remove your brain before opening neck what you can create is this artifact which is extravasation of blood over anterior longitudinal ligament of cervical vertebra so even in the absence of knowledge you can solve questions you just have to remember this part this thing prince lewin gordon artifact is related to asphyxial deaths and asphyxial deaths are related to your cervical region not thoracic and lumbar regions okay next question paltoff's hemorrhage paltoff's hemorrhages are small sized hemorrhages seen in drowning deaths so paltoff's hemorrhages are small sized hemorrhages seen in drowning deaths and in drowning which is the most common organ affected your lungs so obviously these hemorrhages will be seen over lungs simple question done 